We've got to weed out the greedy in order to help the needy. That's the kind of thing you're a humdinger at, sir. Weed out the greedy. Right on, Jim. You had a look at those things I sent you, Brady? I got them right here, Admiral. Adios. What did Admiral Baxter give you? Huh? Oh. Who the hell knows? Attention, President. Bus 1 will stop over at local campaign headquarters. Bus 2 will proceed directly to the debate site. No, you don't tell me. I tell you what the President says. You hope he'll be the President. Of course he will be. Brady! James Brady! Watch out, Admiral Baxter is the czar of communication. The yeah, Admiral is the czar within the radius of his desk. The next press secretary, I hear. Who told you that? He can't have said that. Well, now, wait a minute. I cited a very eminent scientist from Texas A&M, I think, and his research indicated that even if we eliminated all man-made pollution, we'd still have two-thirds as much, because that's how much nature produces. I don't think it's true, sir. Well, you could retract the statement. No. Clarify. Maybe a better explanation. No. Well, what do you think we should do, Jim? Just go ahead with the speech I've written for you. Give him something else to think about, huh, Jim? Yes, sir. Hey, Brady! Where's the old man get this stuff, anyway? What stuff would that be, Elmer? Trees cause more pollution than cars. <laughs> well, see for yourself. Killer trees. <laughs> Killer trees. Killer trees. Go on. Get the destruction. Killer trees. In the month since President-elect Ronald Reagan's landslide victory, he's already started laying the groundwork for his new administration. Signing his win in 44 out of 50 states, he called upon the Democratic Congress to recognize the mandate he's been given to chart a new course for the American people. He renewed his promise to a smaller government. Wind's holding pretty steady, huh? Yeah. Watch it. Lunch, Jim. Come on, Pooh. Hey, hon. <laughs> How about that, huh? Look, Scott. Look. Hey, Scott. Woo! <laughs> hey, hey, what, what? How's my boy? What do you think? How's that, huh, Scott? Good. You're damn right, it's good. None of the other kites are up so high. See? Attaboy. <laughs> <laughs> Elsewhere in the news. The transition team for President-elect Reagan announced oh, another cabinet yeah, appointment really. today. <laughs> David Stockman will occupy the top post at the Office of Management and Budget. There were no further announcements, but more were promised early next week. Will you relax? New I am relaxed, really. Oh, right. yeah, right. Well, I mean, who else are they going to get? Knopf Sigger doesn't want the job. I know I'm going to get it. Thank you. I don't know, Bear. I heard Mrs. Reagan wants a reasonably good-looking press secretary. Well, then there you are. <laughs> I was born for this job. Oh, feet, feet. Scratch my feet. Scratch your own feet. Hey. Hold on. I got it. Could have sworn this was our house. Right here. Yes. Tomorrow? Yes. Good night. I got it! Oh! Yes! 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 Yes!
know you'll have access to the president. Anything I say to you, you may take as coming straight from the horse's mouth. Well, you haven't said anything yet. You can quote that. <laughs> <laughs> How often do you see him? Every day. True. Everything he says is true. I'll remind you of that. With the exception of what you say to me. Oh, <laughs> beat a big brown bear by a coon. Coon? A raccoon. I have dark circles under my eyes. And little tiny hands, which grab the grub oh so quickly to your mouth. Me? Look at that waistline. Well, what do you expect from a bear? I'm a North American brown bear. You want a diet? I'm on one. Seafood diet. Seafood diet? Mm-hmm. I see food and I eat it. <laughs> <laughs> When drop by Portofino, I hardly got anything to eat in there. It's almost midnight. Oh, they'll still be open. You need it. You can use a few pounds. Oh, you know what I need. I know what you need. <laughs> Jim, stop it. <laughs> this is the way to live. We're on everybody's A list. Thanks for being such a shoulder to the wheel. And? And for staying home with Scott. And? And for giving up the National Committee to stay home with Scott. And? I'd like to see some revolvers. Right here. How much is that one? That's $27. But you won't do much harm with that. Well, I want one that could kill a burglar. A burglar? Well, then you need one of these. Or one of these. This one's $49, this one's 42 both accurate to within 30 feet. Here. Fits nicely in the hand, hmm? It's German made. It's a Rome. Morning, Mr. Brady. Morning. Morning. You going with the president? Where? The Hilton for the building tradesman. Hey, up available? Hell no, you go, Catfish. Funny, isn't it? I get in hot water if I even talk about open shop. And here, the Russians can send tanks in to help Poland suppress their trade unions. Well, it's only troop movement along the border, sir. Huh? I mean, they haven't sent the tanks in yet. Oh, no, no, of course they haven't. Do you think you can deal with this at this morning's briefing? If I can't, I'll resign, sir. <laughs> Highly theoretical methodology of the supply side school. Mago, my eyes blaze. <laughs> <Yeah, I'm getting laughs> <through. laughs> my. Can you give us the name of the new chairman of the Joint Chiefs? Not decided yet. Oh, honest, honest. Mr. Daniel. Here's the list of all the known candidates for the job who were at the president's briefing yesterday. Why isn't Barnesfield's name there? Because he wasn't. Really? Oh. I met Mr. Barnesfield an hour after the briefing. 
He'd just come from the Oval Office. Correct. He was invited in for lunch afterwards. Uh, and then what was decided? No minutes were taken. He's oh, running the world. He wasn't one last seen. Martha. Can you comment on the congressional resistance to the president's proposed budget cuts and tax plan? Well, you know, everybody seems to want a smaller government and lower taxes until it comes time to cut their program. The saying on the Hill is, don't cut you, don't cut me, cut the program behind the tree. <laughs> Cuts have to be made, we're going to make them. Caroline. Very nice. Hmm? What? Shoes. Lord and Taylor? Oh, it's a secret. You better look at this. What's that? Shit. Get me catfish. Catfish. Change of plan. I will be going to the Hilton with the president. Why? Labor is not exactly the old man's constituency, and there's going to be some tough customers from the press and the reception line. Okay. Raccoon, why don't you answer when I call? Scott's asleep. Hi, Jim. Hi, Ruth. Got you a new pair of shoes. Why do I need a new pair of shoes? You just wait and see. Sit down, sit down. Come here. Sit. Lord and Taylor. Oh, wait till you see these puppies. Oh. But if I don't like them... Oh, no, no, wear them for me. Well, we got to see them first. Huh? Look at this. <laughs> oh. Huh? Hey, huh? not bad. Oh, 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 come on. The shoe fits, the prince is yours. Yeah. Hmm? Here's one. Okay. Yes. Oh, hot dickery. Gotta wear them tonight. What's tonight? Made a date with Tom Finders and his wife. What are you doing home? Gotta change my shirt. I'm going to the Hilton with the president. Oh. Mom. Mommy. Hey, how about Dad? There he is. Hey, I can see the old wiener beaner much these days. Hey, want to help me pick out a tie? No. Come on, come on, come I'm on. Tired. Oh, come on. Come on, you'll pick out the perfect one. Okay, Daddy. I say you're lucky. Well, I know that. I think. <laughs> You like my son's taste in ties? Nice. I like a little more color, yeah. brighter. Yes, I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. God bless. 
Thank you. Well done, sir. Oh, 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 I'm glad that's over. Whew. Really got your point across that time, sir. Oh, man, that's a tough house. <laughs> yes. Oh. I got a you were here hey, first. Move over. of the United States has been shot and wounded by an assailant. He had just given a speech at the Washington Hilton Hotel and was leaving the building when the assassin made his attack. Three others are wounded by the gunfire, among them the president's press secretary, Jim Brady. I don't know whether we have an opinion on that. Well, we can guess. Guess, I see. You're here to guess. The president is at the hospital now. The first it's Daddy. Daddy's on TV. He is? Hospital, along with the president, we're not able to confirm this with the hospital because their switchboard is jammed. Hospital? What hospital? I'm afraid that Jim Brady has been shot to death. <gasps> Presidential press secretary Jim Brady fatally wounded in today's attack. Our heartfelt condolences go out to his family. What happened to daddy? Is he okay? And still more reports coming in now. No, he's been killed. <laughs> what did you get through the White House? No. And a correction. What? Jim Brady is not dead. Presidential oh, Press Secretary God. Jim Brady has not God. died in today's gunfire. We will pass on more news to you call? as it comes to us. Once what again, Jim Daddy? Brady is not dead. Mrs. Brady. Yes. Arthur Cobrine. Is he talking? Uh, no, no, but he was conscious when he was brought in. I want to see him. Uh, um, there's very little time. But it's possible. Uh, uh, he's not in a condition in which he should see. Uh, if he might die, then I have to see him. Is there a tip from the hospital? Okay. Well, we're going to try. Sir, this line must be clear. Yes, sir. Let him strip on it. Excuse us for a moment. Yes, sir. 
Dr. Parker, Dr. Phil Parker, emergency <coughs> Your husband has been shot above the left eye. The bullet, fragmented, went through his brain. Most of it is lodged in the right hemisphere, here. And somewhere about here. So it's in pieces? Yes. You'll be able to get it out? If I can, it all depends where they're embedded. You don't know from these x-rays? No, not all of them. I see, go on. If the operation is a success, your husband will have some use of his left leg, but not much use of his left arm. What if it's a failure? He could die. Or? Or a vegetable. I don't know. I... Doctor? We've got to save him. Have you got it in for Reagan? Oh, no, no. No, I'm a Republican. I, I think he's doing a pretty good job so far, don't you? But you wanted him dead. Yes. Why? Oh, I'm sorry, but that's personal. Yeah, that's strictly personal. Psycho. But that's what he wants us to think. Thank you. Is this your weapon? Well, it looks like it. Well, you can take it from me. It is. OK. It's been fired. Yes. Six devastators. Is that so? How many of them found their mark? Four. Four. Well, that's not bad shooting, huh? This is Reagan, Sarah. Oh, Sarah, dear. Is he in surgery now? For four hours. How is the president? He's out of surgery. finished. Yes. Uh, I got the bulk of the bullet out. So part of the bullet is still there? Yes, I'm sorry it is. The rest is embedded in the bottom of his brain. What does that mean? It would do more harm than good to try to get it out now. The floor of his brain cavity uh, underneath the brain has been badly damaged. So the operation wasn't successful. He's alive. And... He may not be. 
be able to recognize you. When he comes to? A little longer than that. For always? Perhaps. I'd like to see the bullet. They'll need this for evidence, of course. It's done all the harm it was made to do. Pardon me? I had a girlfriend whose boyfriend bought her a pistol. They showed it to me two months before I killed her with it. Mr. Brady? Dr. Cabrini. Jim. Bear, can you hear me? Jim? Jim? What? Let me try. Mr. Brady, can you hear me? If you can hear me, please wriggle your fingers like this. Can you hear me? So they say. Good, sir. It's better say two weeks. No, a week. What about Brady? The floor of the skull underneath his brain has been shattered. Oh, shit. He's the best press secretary I ever had. Friday. 
What people? Oh, yes. We always have cocktail parties on Fridays. I see. <laughs> Did he just make a crack at me? I think so. Did you? He always likes me to scratch his feet. Mr. Brady? What's this? What is that, Bear? Gauze? Ball? Butterfingers? man tried to shoot the president. The president's all right, but you were hit. Oh. Jim, you're, Jim, you're doing well. The doctor is amazed at how well. Yes. Die. No, Jim, you're not going to die. Having a seizure. Can I see him? No, Sarah. Will he be worse? I don't know. Uh... Why don't we give it a couple of days? Hmm? Look, Sarah. 
the other chunk of the bullet. Can I have it? Sure. John W. Hinckley Jr. appeared in court today, formally charged with a 13-count indictment, including the assassination attempt against President Ronald Reagan. Hinckley is pleading not guilty to the charges. Hinckley's reported motive is his obsession with the actress Jodie Foster. He saw her many dozens of times in the movie Taxi Driver. And when Foster enrolled at Yale University in 1980, Hinckley traveled to New Haven, Connecticut. He dropped poems and other notes at her doorstep, but Foster refused to meet him. It was then, according to Hinckley's own never, testimony, never, he decided never. Jim, he even got a date with her. John W. Hinckley enthusiastically supported Ronald Reagan. Hello, Mr. President. Oh, hi there. Hello, sir. Yeah, hello. Oh, good to see you again, Doctor. How are you doing, sir? Oh, I've been fine. Doctor, thank you. Hiya, Jim. Sarah. Good morning, Mr. President. Morning, Doctor. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing, Bear? Andy. Oh, a diggery. <laughs> oh, look at that bear, darling. Would you look oh, at that bear? Well. Where's that from, Jim? From... A gift from Toronto. Oh. Well, I second that. Oh, well, we all do. Yes, we do. I was in here for some tests this morning. I'll be coming back. Well, of course you are. We're looking forward to having you back in your office. Certainly, yes. yes. We need you, Jim. Indeed, we do. You know, Jim. I thought I was going to get star billing in this show, but there, you see? Upstaged again. Hinkley's <laughs> <laughs> a star for front page coverage. <laughs> oh. Yes, Hinkley. Nutty as a fruitcake. <laughs> and they sold him a gun. Sir. You rest and take good care of yourself. Right. What did you say? I said, and they sold him a gun. It just came out. Don't say anything. In front of the president, I understand. The president is... The president is a member of the National Rifle Association. I'm not. I'm his press secretary. His press secretary. I'm sorry, Jim. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, You're right. You're right, Jim. Press secretary. My job. My job. My job.
That's it, Jim. No, Jim, you aren't done yet. I want you to make two lines separated by color. In one group, put them in order of increasing size. Then in the other group, put them in order of increasing numbers of sides. Please try again. Okay. Take a break for a minute. We had a bet, Joe and I. Uh, he said he didn't think you would come. But I remember you from McKeevitt's staff. When the congressman pushed for a gun control bill, you were right there with him. Janet Dand on our staff was killed by her boyfriend. Mrs. Brady, 63 Americans are killed by handguns every single day. And a new handgun is bought every 13 seconds. Really, you don't need to convert me. Then how do we get you to join us? We need someone like you to speak out. She'd said that in your letter. Um, you know, my husband is still officially White House press secretary. Yes, I, I do. But, Mrs. Brady, you are in a unique position. Look, I'd like to help you. Good. We need you. I just couldn't. Not now. I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> exactly. Where did you get it? Time? Time's covered. Bronte? Yeah, you read the whole newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> Bear, she just signed your petition. I want to see you out of here. Who? Who? Marion. Marion Franzovich from the Globe. I don't remember. Globe? Jim Brady. <laughs> Boston. We can handle that one, all right. Uh, yeah, but better you than me, huh? Catfish. Exactly. Cafe. Yeah, he doesn't hear me. He's not talking. <laughs> AK. Oh, oh, Art hasn't signed it yet. Right. When? When? <laughs> you can run, but you can't hide. Hi, Julie. How are you? Hi. <laughs> Jim. Oh, Jim. Hi, Larry. Hi, Jim. Hi, Jim. <laughs> you, you look well, Jim. Why, I, why have what is it, Bear? you been been to what? see me? But we have. You haven't. Jim. He forgets. What? No, no, I'll, I'll tell you what it was. Um, we just haven't been to one of your Friday nights with all the regulars here. We, uh, we came tonight just to see you with them. <laughs> Hank. <laughs> Hank. 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 Does he want to talk to me? You know, if you want to talk to me, you can talk straight to my face, and I'll answer you straight back. Ooh. I'm not a fucking corpse. <laughs> I want you to move your right leg a little bit, like this. Say this. Come on. Be at your work. Come on. Come on. Yeah. My right leg. Your right leg. Come on. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh. You want to stop? No. no. I, 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 yeah. 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 Okay. 
Oh. My right leg. Yeah. Your right leg. Yeah. Try now. Oh. Come on. Try. Oh. Come on. Oh. Okay. Did you see that? Yes. Yeah, <gasps> okay. Okay, that's <gasps> enough. It's not that's enough. enough. Hey, Mom. I thought you said you could play with me. I do, but I can't right now. I'm busy. I wish Daddy could play with me. I do, too, but he's not well, honey. When can he play with me again? I don't know. Why? Why don't you know? <sighs> with all his heart, Daddy wants to play with you. What are those for? To stop people shooting people. Like Daddy? Yes, like Daddy. No, Jim. I told Sally she didn't have to because I took care of it last week. Last week you were when, here? When I met with the senators. Who? Who? You didn't meet with them. I briefed them. No, who? Yeah, you didn't? I, I did. About the summit agenda. Sally told you what happened when I, she came to see you I last was there. week. Listen, Pooh. They want me to come to the White House Correspondents' Dinner next weekend. Correspondents do. We thought that you could send a statement that I would deliver. We? Well, they thought. Without me? Well, yes, for you. Only if I write it. The speech. Of course. And you can't change anything. Only if... No, no, of course not. Don't you tell me how to do my job, woman. No. <laughs> I thought I... I met with these senators. What are you doing? Those barracudas. What's left are the true facts. Jim. Just a second. I'm almost done. You no, know you're not. Mm. What? Look to the left. Here. What? Turn your head a bit. What? Look closely. Mm. On the left side. I got a little something here. Around. What, what is it? Tarmac. Democratic Wait, senator from Arizona gave it to me. Why would a Democratic senator give you that? Hey. That was for you. Of course. What the hell is that? It's a Navajo pipe. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to smoke it, though. Anyone got any tobacco? <laughs> yeah. yeah, let me do it. No, Jim. Why not? Cobrine says. Fuck Cobrine. He's the enemy. <laughs> don't be silly, Bear. <laughs> She's stuck on him. What do I do with this? Here. What the hell do you think you're doing? Matches. I'm going. Sayonara. There's only one master in the bear's home, and that's the big brown bear himself! Matches. 
Should I go after her? No. Lots of people go after her. Mm. I've forgotten how nice this is. <laughs> should I go? Suit yourself. Home. Yes. Leave that. I'm going. Take it off. What? Hey there, Bear. Hey there, sir. This is Reagan. Well, hello there, Jim. Hello. How's it going, Bear? Hey, Catfish. How you doing there, Jim? I'm pretty fit, sir. My PT see to that. PTs? Physical terrorist. <laughs> oh. <laughs> good, good. Uh, what are they doing to you now, Jim? What are you doing to me? We're fitting the short leg brace, sir. They're fitting the short leg brace, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Your courage has been an inspiration to us all. Sure has. Certainly has. But you've been on your back too long. The work is piling up. We're waiting for you, Jim. Yes, here, here. Too. Get back. All right. I'll be back within six months, sir. Okay, goodbye. Thank you. See you later, Jim. Adios. Jim? No more. I'm done for today. Jim? What? We've come to sign your petition, Jim.
See you next week. Ali! Ali! The bear is back! As happy as we are about the reopening of this press room today, we're even happier, more elated by the presence of a man who truly belongs in this room. Jim, we're all waiting for the day when you're back here for good. We miss you, Jim. Oh, I miss most of you. trapped in here with these sharks right now, and we've got this unemployment story breaking. How do you think we should handle it? Well, <laughs> I think your resignation is not going off the front page, sir. <laughs> <laughs> sick again. Yes. I don't like it. It isn't his fault. What's this? It's just an ad. Why'd you cut it out? 
Careful. Why? It's for revolvers. Ooh. For self-defense, so they say. Why'd you circle in her head? I wrote to the editor about it. Using my name? Yes, Jim, it's my name, too. Oh, I was invited to speak at the National Handgun Session next week. You don't seem to want me to speak. I forbid you to. What? I didn't quite hear that. Do what you want! Do what you want! I told them no, I'm not going to! You all right? What the hell are you doing? Huh? Coo. Don't do that, Bear. Raccoon. Don't. I'm sorry about this afternoon. It's okay. It's not bad, I'm just tired. I know what it is. Bears are supposed to be amorous animals, aren't they? Are they? Yes. Oh, shit. Don't, please don't, don't. It's a fucking bear. I know it's a fucking. It's not how you talk to a lady. I hate Inkley. So do I. I had no idea. You enjoyed it so much. Didn't you? Yes. And all the other things that go with that. You could lie on top of me. Very exciting. <laughs> of course, whether I'd be able to come up to it, that's another matter. We could take a shot at it. I'll be the one to take a shot at it. 
Let's get that straight. All right. Jim, how are you doing? Uh -huh. Oh, well. You look happy. I am. Why? I can get a heart on. Oh, now. Come on. <laughs> he asked me. I did not. Bottoms up. Said the actress to the bishop. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> I got your fire going, Jim. <laughs> Thanks, Captain. <laughs> right, you take your time. It's your office. What time's my lunch with the president? I'll recheck his schedule. The African ambassadors are visiting today. <laughs> okay. Take a half an hour. Right, sir. my office yesterday. They cleared all my papers off my desk. Yeah. The president couldn't meet me for lunch. No? No. Jim, the president calls you his press secretary for the sake of his conscience. What are you talking about? They called maybe two weeks after the shooting, and they wanted to know how realistic it was to think you'd come back to work. You didn't tell me. I told them it would take at least a year to know how far you'd come back. I'll be back sooner than that. I didn't want you to be discouraged. Bear, bears are tough. I wanted to keep you working at your recovery. I did that for your sake, Jim. Don't do me any favors. I don't think you'll be able to do the job. I know what I can do. Cool. Well, Jim, what about your one-line cool. answers, huh? Cool. You're covering over of Reagan's goofs. Cool. Your, uh, your gentle reminders to him of the points he's forgotten. Jim? Oh. Who are the political correspondents from the Washington Post?
bear you can't remember. I can remember how it's done. Well, that's part of the burden you're going to have to carry. Jim, you're not going to heal as you would like. Thanks, Mike. Hello. I've got a kite. Biggest one they had. Yes. We're gonna fly it. Okay. At the shore. What? When? Now. We can't. Why not? I haven't got anything ready. Well, get it ready. Where do we stay? With Bob and Ruth, like always. Call them, they'll come too. Are we going to the shore? <laughs> to the shore. I got a kite. I'm an ace at flying kites. Are you? Sure. Jim, quit honking. Bob and Ruth can't come, but they said go ahead. Why can't they come? They had other plans. Looks like a quiet Friday. Yes, it does. Fuck them. You'll see. What? I'll make this fucker fly. You've got it backwards. What? Turn it around the other way. Oh, I see. It's right there. Scott, you watching? Hey. What? He's only five years old. Well, now's the time. Come here and watch. Can I go swimming? Sure, honey. After the kite. <sighs> After the kite. Damn it, where's the other one? Supposed to be two. Is this it? Then put it on. Oh, damn it. Now look what you've done. Bring it to me. Shit. Give me. Well, aren't we having a grand time flying the kite? Ready? Now. Pull! No, no, no. There's got to run. Scott, pick it up. Give it to me. Careful, careful, don't rip it. No, careful. Here, go. OK, now, hold the tail. Now, this time, you run, damn it! All right. Now! That's it! That's it! Yes, run! Run! No, shit, no, no, no! No, damn it! No! Oh, shit! Can't you run, damn it? Son of a bitch! Oh, shit, son of a bitch! Don't you use that language in front of him! Now, how do you expect him to talk if he hears his daddy using bad language all over the beach? All over it, they can hear you at their dinner tables. Do you know that? Fuck shit! I warned you! Scott! Now what? Scott, come here! Don't go near him. Scott, come here. Scott. We might as well give up. Hooray. Well, thank God. You knew Bob wasn't going to come. Of course, didn't you? Why would anybody want to be with you? I'm still the master of our house. Not to me. Oh, no. 
now. Here we go. Here we go. The time I have to wake up, the time I have to go to bed, the suits I have to wear, the talk that's carried on behind my back! Good God, do you think that I like it? You like the talk. Then talk. Do you hear me? Talk! Please, please, be careful. Do you know what a burden you are to me? And should I take Scott? Do you think I don't know the signals that you give the neighbors when you think I've had enough for the night? Now you be careful! Careful? I could have been a figure for the whole of time! A what? You can't even fly a kite! Cabrain told me today. What? That I couldn't do my job. Didn't you know that? I didn't. Well, no, I didn't. I, I thought my faculties would come back to me. They still might. I thought maybe, but... You will have to tell me to the very end of my life. There, you are much more the bear than ever I knew. No. No, you better get used to it. I'm a lesser bear. Well, you better let the gun control people know that you'll take a seat on their committee. All right, I will. <laughs> the moon. Yes. It has a fine line around it. Can you see? Yes, I always have. I never noticed it before. No. No. I 
I've never seen the man. Or the line around myself. I do. Grab that. Right there. Oh, shit. <laughs> Cut that out! Jesus. That's quite enough. <laughs> Here, hold this. I got it. Got it? Yep. Are you ready? Ready! I'm ready. Then here we go! On previous occasions, I'm here today as chair of Handgun Control Incorporated, a national citizens organization working to keep handguns out of the wrong hands. For the first time in an appearance before Congress, I have my husband Jim at my side. I cannot tell you how comforting that is for me. Mr. Chairman, I'm not here to complain, but since you're here, I'll complain a little. <laughs> There was a day when I was fortunate enough to serve the President of the United States in a capacity I had dreamed of all my life. And for a time, I felt that people looked up at me. Today, I can tell you how hard it is to have people speaking down to me. It's not easy to tell you this because I don't want your sympathy or your pity. But I tell you because you can do something not to help me, but to prevent this from happening to others. I pray that Congress can find the courage to quickly pass the Brady Bill. I'm pleased to be beside Sarah today. I finally get to see what she does up here. 